Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today on the 16th of June 2021, DJI have done a massive leap for something that a lot of you have been asking for on their new latest firmware update for the DJI Mini 2. No, it's not quite the SDK that we're all hoping for in order to be able to use third party apps such as Litchi or DroneLink, but it's the next best thing. DJI Mini 2 now is supported by the smart controller from DJI and I know many of you will be happy at this new announcement. So you're going to have to do a couple of things. First of all, you're going to have to update your firmware on the DJI Mini 2 and you're going to have to update your firmware on your smart controller. So as you can see on screen, once you have updated your drone firmware and your controller firmware, the DJI Mini 2 now comes up as a selection of the smart controller. That's really, really good news. So how do you update to the latest firmware then? Well, first of all, you should very simply get the prompts as soon as you open up the DJI Fly app and also the same prompt when you open up the smart controller as well. So this isn't an app update. It's not really complicated. You shouldn't need to go uh, to the DJI download site for anything like that. All you simply need to do is turn your equipment on, make sure your battery is in the back of the drone. Uh, as you open up the DJI Fly app, obviously turn your controller on first. As you open up the DJI Fly app, it should automatically tell you as it has with this on screen. So nice and simple. And like I say, it's going to be the exact same with the smart controller. Not only do we have smart controller support, we also have a couple of new things as well. One of those is a really, really major issue. Um, well highlighted by uh, one of my YouTube colleagues, Ian in London. Um, so yeah, this is to do with the battery discharging as well. And it seems DJI have now offered a fix on that, okay, as part of this firmware update. So this firmware update then is now version 01.03 and four zeros on the end. I can't be bothered to go 0000 even though I just did, nah, never mind. Um, and you need to be on the latest app versions, which is 1.4.3 on iOS and 1.4.2 for Android. So just be aware of that. They are slightly different uh, app versions for Android or iOS, but ultimately they are pretty much the same version. Right, so let's have a little look at what else is new then. So as you can see there, we have added support for the DJI Smart Controller. We have optimized gimbal FPV mode to improve the flying experience. Now, very quickly talk about that one. I'm not entirely sure what they could have improved. I personally found the uh, FPV flying quite satisfactory, to be perfectly honest. So I am interested to see how well that does or what improvements they have made. Obviously, as you see, my surroundings, I am at work and I just try my best to bring you these updates as soon as possible. When I get chance, I will take the Mini 2 and I'll go out for a flight and I'll just see how it does perform. Okay, uh, so what else do we have? As we already mentioned, we've got the optimized auto discharge process for the battery and refer to the DJI Mini 2 user manual for more information. That's pretty self-explanatory really, isn't it? And then we have improved flight stability and greatly reduced quantity of compass calibration prompts. That's a massive winner, okay, because forever I'm constantly getting compass calibration issues. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of a field, okay, with absolutely no interference whatsoever, nothing around me, and it's just constant, please update, please calibrate, and you're like, ah! And sometimes I'll have to go for a walk, sometimes 100 metres. Uh, not that I'm lazy, but who wants to go for 100 metres to walk all the way back again just to do a bloody compass calibration? It's really frustrating. Um, so hopefully this process is going to make that a little bit easier. So yeah, hopefully that's uh, four nice new updates for the DJI Mini 2. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's not quite the... Uh, it's not quite the SDK release we're all hoping for, but ultimately that smart controller is just going to allow so much more of you to basically get more use out of it because it's not a cheap smart controller. You know, it's a decent price and realistically, you've only been able to use it primarily with the bigger drones. So this is a really, really nice inclusion from DJI. That's an absolutely really positive step. So many of you will be really pleased for that. And hopefully this solves the battery drain issue that many of you had with the batteries not discharging as they should. Obviously, as you know, uh, LiPo batteries, they're a little bit... Uh, temperamental and need to be stored at the right uh, the right battery uh, level uh, to prolong their life and sometimes uh, these batteries on the Mini 2 were not auto discharging like they should have. So overall 
this seems to be a nice positive uh, experience, a nice positive update. And uh, like I say, what I will do is as soon as humanly possible, I will get out and I will go fly and just test some of these out. So if any of you are actually out and available, feel free to uh, go for a flight with your DJI Mini 2 and come back to me in the comment section and let me know what you think. Obviously, feel free to test out the FPV mode. When I tried it on my DJI Air 2S, I found it so much fun. Um, but yeah, so that wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have found this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all my other DJI content. It really is appreciated. And give the uh, video a like because apparently it makes a nice difference to the videos. So thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.